Good morning. And how are you all doing today? Shut up. Yeah, you with the glasses over there. I wasn't talking to you. Anyway, I'm just kidding. So we've got our first outer fan casing put together, just like I had told you I was going to do. And now what we're going to focus on is getting the rest of these fan cases printed. These take several hours and they have like massive amounts of <laughs> support material. No way around that. It's just the way I designed this prototype originally. If I were to bevel this up, I think it would still take the same amount of material all the way across, possibly less. I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But right now, this is the prototype. So right now, I'm just concerned about getting it put together, making sure the fan casing is secure, making sure that our duct work lines up perfectly. And then I'll go for a sleeker design. But realistically, with this system, it's hard to get a sleeker design that you can actually slice up, you know, accurately to the point where it's going to be easy to print and then assemble when it's this scale. Um, I might have better luck with an H2D printer. I honestly don't want the two nozzles because I want the full print bed. So I think there's like the H2S, which is the single nozzle, which never made any sense to me. Because the Bamboo Labs was worried because the customers were saying that because of the dual nozzles, it couldn't reach both sides of the plate. Why didn't they just make the casing for the printer a little bit bigger? Then both nozzles could make it to both sides of the plate and you get the full 350 by 350 and still be able to use two materials. I don't know, just me. I, you know, it's just the engineer in me. Instead, they went and made a whole new damn printer. And then took the other nozzle out and said, we made the H2S. Because we don't know how to widen a printer. I don't know. That's just me. Sorry for rambling. Anyway, we're on the cases. We're getting those done. I'm printing the second one for this one now. These will hold them up together at the top. Just like I did on one of my assembly videos. All the way around. Gonna get my bolts out and get things ready. We're going to start putting some fans together. And still printing a whole crap load of PETG. So stick around. There's more work to do.